Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Basil Ray here from the ECF. Uh, back at you as you know if you've seen some of my last videos. I love to do a review, especially when I'm on the road and I've been on the road a lot for work lately. Um, today we are going to talk about a juice that I brought with me, but before we do that you probably want to know where in the world I am at. Today I'm coming to you from Manila in the Philippines uh, here on a work trip. Going to be here for about 12 days and I'm going back home to Minnesota for a couple weeks and I'm coming back to the Philippines for two weeks to do another training session. While I'm here, I smuggled in all sorts of goodies. Um, I've got a whole big baggie. Look at this. Look at all this stuff that's in here. Look at all these goodies. Brought all of this stuff with me. So I've got plenty of juice reviews that are probably going to come your way this week. Um, we'll take another look at uh, different low resistance cardamizers maybe. Um, you know, we can talk about 5 volts. We can talk about 3.7. We can talk about 3.7 low resistance. Um, I've got two PVs loaded up here today. Got the trusty old indulgence. If you've seen some of my other reviews, you know that I run this 3.7 volts, low resistance style. And I also have this fancy new piece of hardware. Well, new to me. Picked this up used off the forums. This is a GLV. You can see it right here. GLV. It is a great device. I'm running this one at 5 volts with the regulated head cap. And if I move my hand here, you can see this is the GLV1. And you can tell that because it's got the weld here. Uh, the GLV2 in case you didn't know, has the solid head pieces all solid. You don't have this weld spot here. As it is, I love the GLV. It's a solid PV. Um, things real sturdy. Feels great in your hands. Super comfortable. Um, if you haven't seen or heard about the GLV2, um, there's already some reviews on that. I don't have it, so I obviously can't review it, but Imagine's got a pretty great video, so check his stuff out. But again, before we get into it, let's talk a little bit about the Philippines. Uh, right now, it is Typhoon madness going on. I uh, was at the office tonight, um, working overnights while I'm here, and it was uh, about 2 in the morning. Uh, it was supposed to be our lunch time, if you will, and they wouldn't let us out of the building to go get anything to eat. Uh, the winds were just ridiculous. We talk about wind back home in Minnesota and 25 miles an hour is pretty crazy. This was at least three times that. Uh, there were pieces of sheet metal blowing across the streets. It was pouring. Uh, I mean, the rain looked like smoke because it was so windy. Um, if you don't normally follow me around or you've never seen any of my reviews before, check out my channel on YouTube. I'll go by the same handle there, Basil Ray. I did post up a quick just 20 second snippet of the typhoon from out the door of the office building. Uh, you can actually see one of the security guards at the office building telling a, a bypasser to stay in his car who had pulled up in front of the building. I didn't even want somebody to get out of their car in that weather, so it's pretty crazy. Um, it's hot, it's humid here, so I figure why not go with a nice dessert juice review today. Just kick back and enjoy it. Brought with me a sample of Tasty Vapors Apple Pie. This particular one is 24 milligrams, 20% 20 VG. So the first thing we'll do, let me swap my drip tip over here and we'll talk about this at 3.7 volts low resistance style in the indulgence. We'll talk about how it vapes there and we'll also talk about it at straight 5 volts. So let me throw a couple of drips in here. That should do it. Oh, you can hear it vaping away. So let's give her a go here. So you can see really pretty decent vapor here. Um, you know, the vapor, and I'll show you this right now, is going to be better at 5 volts, which, I mean, shouldn't be terribly surprising even 3.7 volts low resistance doesn't quite have that same pop that it does at 5 volts so through a couple of drops in the GLV here let's take a look at the vapor you'll be able to see for yourself uh, the difference it's pretty noticeable I think so let's take a look So you can see, I mean, there is a, a very noticeable and a difference you can feel as well in the amount of vapor that you're going to get at 5 volts versus 3.7. Um, on a scale of vapor, um, you know, this is just 20% PG. I'm sorry, 20% VG of this particular blend I've got. You guys know Tasty Vapor. You can adjust that. 
So you know, if you really, really are just a vapor fiend and you you live for those massive clouds of vapor, you probably want to up it. Um, you know, when you get into a higher voltage compared to a lower voltage, even low resistance style, you're still going to get even more vapor. Um, on a scale of vapor, I'd probably give this one about a three, three and a half um, at 20% VG. Uh, the vapor is really pretty good, but you know, it's not going to compare to something like uh, one of my personal favorites, Boba's Bounty, which is 100% VG. But you know, that's just simple chemistry there, the VG stuff's going to give you more vapor. Throat hit at 3.7 volts, uh, I get little to no throat hit on a scale of 1 to 5. Uh, this would be pretty low at 3.7 volts even with my low resistance atomizer on here. Um, I'd give it, you know, one and a half on a good day. Um, usually it's, it's lower than that. I mean, it is enough that you get a little something or other, but not a, a very good throat hit per se. Um, at 5 volts, let me take another rip on this here. It's marginally better, um, even at five volts. You know, five volts, give it a two on a real good day, maybe up to a two and a half. Uh, I mean, this isn't a throat hit juice. This isn't, you know, going to make you fall out of your chair. Uh, the throat hit's there, and it's just enough to kind of give you that little bit of a feeling in the back of your throat. But it's, you know, there's, there's a lot of better juices out there in terms of throat hit. So the vapor's really pretty good. Throat hit's yeah, pretty subpar. Let's talk about what is more important for me with this juice, and that's part of the reason I knew I wanted to pack this and bring it with the flavor. The flavor is great. Um, the flavor at 3.7 isn't quite as strong with this particular juice as it is at 5 volts, but um, the flavor in general, if you like apple pie, this is, this is a great juice. I mean, it does taste like you just took a bite out of a nice, fresh apple pie. Um, it's, it's really great at 5 volts because the vapor is that much warmer. So it really is like you just swallowed a nice, just big old forkful of hot apple pie. Um, in terms of the apple, uh, it's not overwhelming. Um, you know, it's a real good blend of you know the spices and cinnamon and sugar, and um, you know the other spices that are going to make up uh, your base for an apple pie. Uh, the apple flavor itself is not too sweet, so it doesn't taste you know like that real sweet. Uh, you know, like a Sara Lee frozen kind of apple pie, but it's not so tart that it feels like you're uh, tasting a pie made out of crab apples. So it's a really good balance and blend there, and uh, the apple along with the spices really works well together. The juice tastes great. Um, I really like it. You know, I like apples, especially green apples. I like apple pie. Um, so for me, this is a really great dessert flavor. It's not going to give you tons of throat hit. It's going to give you pretty good vapor. For this one, uh, for me though, it's really about the taste. I really love this taste. Um, again, it's a tasty vapor juice. You all know how reputable they are. You know, you know, Jeff's just a master when it comes to replicating flavors and putting the good stuff together for us. So if you're on the fence about it, haven't tried it, uh, you know, you really need to gauge how much you like apple pie. If you're an apple pie fanatic, you gotta try it. Um, you know, if you really don't care for apples and you especially don't like apple pie, then you're probably gonna want to pass on this one. But, um, you know, I showed you the bag of goodies here. Pull it out again. Just wave in front of you. Things even fell out of this. And look at how full this bag is. Um, you know, so I'll, I'll bring you some more juice reviews here, provided that uh, internet stays up. I don't blow away from uh, my classy studio apartment room here while I'm here for the next couple of weeks. So until then, vape away. This is Basil Ray over in the Philippines bringing you my review of Tasty Vapor's Apple Pie. Have a Every last goodbye